Hey everyone, welcome back to The Long Dark. Um, today, I got a different kind of video for you all. Today we're going to be looking at how to get up that mountain right there, the highest point of Desolation Point. Now, I will say right now, it is very much possible to get up there. Um, it does involve some fancy footwork, if you will, but after a little bit of time, you can get up there and the views of this region are pretty incredible. Now, before we get into that, um, I do just want to run over a few things about this hike, this treacherous journey, if you will. Um, first of all, I would recommend never doing this on a save that you like. Um, there's two spots where you have to take some really decent condition loss um, from falling. I know it kind of seems a little counterintuitive. You have to fall down to hike up the mountain, but trust me, um, that's how it goes. And you're not going to want to do this with, you know, your character on day 100, 200, um, because it might not end well. So that's one thing. And also, um, this hike is very much possible. Um, there's no mods. It's just straight up, you know, the long dark um, default. So yeah, with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this hike. All right, folks. So here we are approaching the Broken Bridge in Desolation Point. If you're not sure where the Broken Bridge is, it is basically the very farthern edge of Desolation Point once you enter the region from Coastal Highway. Um, you also can just follow the highway here um, and it takes it to the Broken Bridge. I would be mindful because there is a bear cave right here, which often does feature a bear. Um, it's also next to Hibernia for some reference, but here we go, the Broken Bridge. Um, the first step of how you're going to want to get across the bridge to eventually summit the highest point in Desolation Point, you're going to want to get onto this piece of wood from the bridge right here. What we're going to want to do is take our first leap of faith onto this rock down here. Now, this is why I recommend you don't use a save that you like, because you do take a pretty substantial amount of condition damage. So let's go ahead. One, two, and three. Oof, there we go. Uh, it's not a ton of condition damage, but it is enough to get those risks going. But what we're going to do next is we're going to almost follow this path under the bridge here. You can see it's almost designed as a path. I should say that this is not meant to be um, a way for you to go. This is not what the game was intended to be, but um, figuring out some shortcuts and it leads you to this. So here we go. We're going under the bridge. It does feel a bit weird to be on this side of Desolation Point. Like I said, it's not a side you're supposed to be on, um, but it's interesting nonetheless. You can see Hibernia over there as well. Um, so yeah, here we are on the other side of the bridge. If you just keep following this way, we will get up to the other side of the highway. Here we go. Yeah, so here we are, the other side of Desolation Point. Um, now what you're going to want to do is follow the coastal highway, if you will, um, all the way back here. There's a few glitches you'll see in just a moment. Um, that do happen once you're back here. You can start to see the coastal highway kind of stick out from the back. Um, and then if you take a left, you'll be able to go up the side of the map, which is pretty cool. But it's always pretty cool being in places that you're normally not supposed to be in this game. Um, it's pretty fascinating. Gives you kind of a look at how these regions are constructed, how they're handmade. Um, it's all pretty cool. But you can start to see the terrain starts to give out here a little bit. Starts to get a little junky. Um... But no fault of the, the uh, developers here, because this was obviously not a place where you're supposed to go. Um, you can see more of the same here. The road is a bit kind of risen off the snow here. Um, but once you get back here, we're going to want to turn left. So let's go ahead. You can actually just walk right under this. It doesn't hurt you or anything. Oh, you can actually, yeah, pops into existence there. But um, we're going to turn left in a moment. But I want to show you guys something kind of cool that you can see here. Um, if you don't know, this region, at least over here, it does abruptly end, just like all the others. So if you fall down there, you will not die. Um, you will just immediately respawn somewhere else. So we're not going to do that. But you can see that's where we came from. And look over there. There's a little bit of the highway sticking out in the sky. Um, it's pretty weird. But obviously, <laughs> no one was meant to be back here to see it. So we're going to continue with our journey here by going up this hill. You can see back there is where we came in. And you can start to see where the road goes through the rocks here. It's kind of cool to see that. You can also see a little bit of the ocean as well. I have tried to get up there to kind of get a broader view of things. But as far as I know, you cannot get up there fully. Um, I've gotten to like that rock right there and that was it. And I was stuck. So 
Uh, maybe a little more time and I'll figure out how to get up there. But in the meantime, that is the mountain right there that we're going to be hiking. This gives you such a beautiful view of the region. A view that you wouldn't have really anywhere else, which is pretty cool. Um, so now we're just going to be following this here. You can hug the rocks even. I might just do that just to get into some shade from the wind. Um, and we're going to be taking these little, I guess, snow hills, if you will. We'll go up the right side. Yeah, I found this way to go a while back, maybe about a year or two ago. Um, I've been coming up here with my runs just to say I've been up here and summit the mountain. It's always pretty cool. It's not really cool, though, when you get up here during a blizzard, but um, I do have the settings set to perfect conditions, hopefully for the rest of the day here. So we should get a really, really nice view. Now, what we're coming up to here now is we're coming up to the waterfall. That's the waterfall near Matt's truck, I believe. Uh, we can even go over here and take a little peek. But this is going to be near... Oh, nope, that's near Hibernia. Okay. Yep, and the cave is going to be right down there. And right down there is the broken bridge where we started. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool to be up here in a place where normally you wouldn't be able to go. You can kind of see the effects start to get a little more junky, but it's to be expected when you go outside of the normal bounds. So we're going to continue here by going up the side. Um, it does take quite a few minutes to actually reach um, the highest part on this mountain you can go. I should note that you, as of right now, the ways that I found, unfortunately, you cannot get to the very top. But you can get pretty dang close to the top. And I'm going to take you guys to the highest point that I know of. Um, and we'll see maybe if we can find a way to get to the top. I doubt it since I've tried a lot. Um, and I've always come up a little bit short of that, but you never know. You never know. Regardless, though, um, we'll have one heck of a view. That is for sure. All right, so you're going to want to stick to these snow banks here. Um, if you go down that way, you can also have a really nice view. There's some trees over there as well. Uh, but nothing too special. The really good stuff, again, is on top of this hill. Um, now, I would also advise you, again... Don't take a save you really care about up here. We have one more pretty substantial fall. This one's going to be bigger than the last one. And this one can really wreck you if you're not careful. So we do have to be a little mindful of that. Um, I am playing on Pilgrim. So all of the needs are set to as easy and as uh, light as possible, if you will. So they won't decay on us rapidly. Almost there. The wind has been fairly light during this uh during this save every time i come up here the wind is usually starts to ramp up but it's been pretty pretty light so far um which is good it'll give you guys a nice view of what's uh or of the entire region rather which is always really cool just kind of hope it doesn't <laughs> doesn't start snowing on us it would impede the view quite a bit all right so we've gotten to the top of this final snowbank that we will be summiting. Now we just have to do the main portion of the mountain. So what we're going to do is you're going to come over this side. Um, that allows you to not get stuck down there. You can actually go down there and make your way up, but you do waste some time doing that. And I'm not trying to, uh, to hold you guys here for too long, but go ahead, play around um, over here. If you guys find any ways, let me know in the comments of... Uh, of any paths you found up here alternatively i know there's a path down near the coastal highway entrance that you can get to it's a neat little spot but it doesn't lead you to this mountain but whatever you guys find please uh feel free to let me know in the comments i will be reading them i'm very curious to see what you guys come up with um if you do choose to take this route all right so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna get right on top of this little snowbank and we're going to, this is where the fancy footwork I mentioned earlier comes into play. Um, you kind of have to know what you're doing. You kind of have to understand the long dark physics a little bit in order to pull this off. But a little practice and you'll be there in no time. So what you want to do is you want to try to get on top of this little lip right here. You see that little line going through the rock? You want to get on top of that. So what you're going to do is try to hug the wall. There we go. Looks like we did that first try going to save up a little bit of my sprint and you're going to want to hug this wall and walk this way now the long dark how the physics work is on some of these rocks that are leaning sideways you can walk on them even though it seems like you'll slide right off um, they are perfectly fine look at right here huh 
I mean, doesn't this look like something you would fall down in real life? Um, but in this game, we are perfectly fine. So we'll continue onward here. You're going to keep hugging the wall. Again, try to keep that... Um, if you're using Xbox, that joystick always um, tilted forward. If you're using computer, always press the W key. Or whatever key you use to move forward. Just always keep that pressed because you're not going to want to lose too much height while going up this mountain. Alright, so we made it to this next part here. You're going to keep the same theme going here. Just by hugging the wall. Um, eventually there will be a point where you can start to work your way up the mountain, but that's not quite yet. Um, like I said though, it does take a little bit of patience to get up here. A little trial and error too if it's your first time, but... Um, either way, it is a relatively easy climb compared to other glitches in this game. Get a little sprint in. And you guys can already start to see the view that we're starting to get here of Desolation Point. I mean, look at this, huh? Ibernia down there, we got the broken bridge where we started. So what we did was we went across the broken bridge and went around that rock face and then up all of this snow um, to here. So we're almost up the mountain. Unfortunately, like I said, there is no true way to get on top of the summit, even though I would love that. Um, but there, again, there is a way you can get pretty, pretty close to it. So here's that little terrain I was talking about that's leveling off. You can actually walk around freely here. Um, no limitations. But yeah, I mean, look at this, huh? What a stellar view. You're not going to get this view anywhere else in the region, which is pretty cool. So we kind of have an intersection here that you can go um, up. It does look like you can go up there, but you actually cannot. So what you have to do, and you have to be really careful as well, you got to start to walk this way. Now, walking this way is going to present you with a little bit of a cliff. And that cliff is going to... You're going to have to take that tumble, unfortunately, down the cliff. And that's going to result in a ton of condition loss. So hopefully um, we'll be okay here. Yep, there we are. Uh, you can see it took us down to half health, but no worries. We're going to just keep trying to move along here. You can still get where we're trying to go. Um, it's going to be right over here. And you're going to keep the wall to your right side, obviously. Don't want to be falling down. Um, perfect. Awesome. So once you see this white patch here, that's how you know you're in the clear. And what we're going to do is... Still going to keep the wall to our right side, but we're still going to make some progress here. Uh, you can see right down there is where we want to go. This little flat piece of rock right here. Awesome. Again, this is free to move around terrain. There's no walls, no invisible death barriers, but I mean, look at this view. You can even do a little bit of free walking down here. Look at this view. There's Stone Church down there, the lighthouse. Uh, the entrance to Coastal Highway is somewhere in that, that area. Um, just incredible. Thinking about doing this with other regions too, just having the highest vantage point possible. It's super, super pretty. But, alright, continuing here. Um, you can see it starts to level off a little bit, the terrain up there. So what we're going to want to do is obviously get up there. So you're going to keep the same theme of keeping the wall to your right side. Um, and just keep that key pressed forward. Any terrain lost it can become pretty significant if you aren't careful. Perfect. Nice, we're almost there. Um, and like I said, this is going to be the highest possible point you can get in Desolation Point, which is um, which is pretty cool. Which is pretty cool. Yep, here we go. So sometimes you can walk up these terrain faces that doesn't look like you can they can be walked up. But alas, they can, as you just saw. And we are approaching the highest point you can get. Should be right over here. Now, there are a few... Um, Oh, what's the word? A few looks can be deceiving moments here. It looks like you can almost climb to the top, but unfortunately you can't. Again, if you guys do find a way, please let me know. It's right here, you know? If you just stand right there, you'll probably be able to summit to the top, but unfortunately, you cannot. But we'll work our way over here, and right over here is just going to be the highest possible spot. Desolation point. Yep, here we are. This is the highest spot you can possibly be in this region. The view is simply... It's awesome. I mean, you can start to see... We're so high up, you can start to see some of the terrain um, fading away. Especially over there as well. But guys, that's how it's done. Um, feel free to let me know. Again, if you have any other ways of getting up here, I'd love to hear it. If you have any ways of getting to the top, I would also just be awesome to hear that. Um, 
I wouldn't mind checking that out. Um, and I wouldn't mind doing this again with a few other regions as well. Because the views are so rewarding. I mean, look at this. It's pretty awesome. Now again, I just do want to reiterate in case anyone is thinking about it. Um, I would not recommend taking your character up here. Granted, your character can survive. It does take a little bit of skill. Um, and a little bit of trial and error. But at the end of the day, you can make it up here just like we did. Um, it is pretty straightforward compared to the other regions that you have to summit make your way around but um, all in all a very worthwhile um, experience for sure um, so i guys i hope you guys enjoyed this um it was super fun doing um let me know if you guys want to see anything else related to this um and hey if you liked it you know like and subscribe um i'm recently doing a 500 days in interloper challenge if you want to check that out um, it'll be linked. Same with my Hardcore Deadman series that we just finished up. A super, super fun series. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more types of these videos, just let me know. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you all in the next episode.